Hello and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. So I have two goals for this video. Number one is to finally get a red deer on video. I've now killed five or six, and they've all been really nice ones. I've not killed a small red deer stag yet, uh, but I just can't find one when I'm actually recording. So hopefully we can do that. And the other is just to do some missions. Uh, we've seen the other animals here on the uh, reserve and that kind of thing. So we'll just do some missions, see some of the story of the game. Uh, right now we're working on one where we have to travel to this region right here, which is not far, so we're going to do that. And maybe we'll find a red deer along the way. If not, we'll just try to find one afterwards. All right, we've got a little fallow deer male out here. Somehow I left my collar at the lodge, although I don't remember taking it out of my inventory. I must have uh, at some point while playing. We'll just take this guy out with the 7mm. Down he goes. Um, the mission that we're working on does require us to shoot two fallow deer, but it has to be in uh, that region that we're still 300 meters away from, uh, and I didn't really see getting this guy to end up in that region, so I thought we'd just take him out, get a first kill for the video. Just a very easy 93 scoring male, but we'll take it. We need to get our uh, level up. I think 27 is to unlock the red deer color, which would be really cool. Uh, but we're definitely not getting there anytime super soon. We're at uh, level 16 at the moment. Well, I haven't seen a fallow deer yet, and I've gone through all the cornfields. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this roe deer male. Then I'm going to go back to the outpost and grab my collar for fallow deer. Should have been a drop shot. I think that female's... Whoa. Didn't mean to do that. I think the female is still running. Um, yeah, maybe if I come back. I didn't go like north of me, so I didn't go through literally all of the cornfields, but I've gone the whole way through uh, from west to east. Alrighty, so here he is. I think it was just minor difficulty. Yeah, 129 score. All right, so back to the outpost to get my collar. I really don't know how I don't have it with me. I meant to. Maybe we'll go to that lookout point that's just uh, south of the fields while we're uh, heading back. All right, we've got a whole herd of fallow deer females here, uh, but we're not even close to the uh, to the region we have to be in to harvest them. We have to be still another kilometer from here. But a harvest is a harvest. It'll help us with leveling up and that kind of thing. Let's find one this broadside. That did not take her down immediately. I was going to try to shoot another one, but I don't want to have to track two. I'm not sure how that wasn't a vital hit if it wasn't. Uh, so we'll check it out. There's going to be a lot of tracks here, so hopefully we can find the right one. Looks like this is a feeding zone. So somewhere, yeah, that... Looks like a non-vital hit, maybe? Yeah. So maybe intestines or something, but I believe she's down right there. Can't tell, but pretty sure that was her. Yep. She didn't run all that far. Fortunately, the 7mm is quite powerful. So we'll grab her and continue our way to that lookout point, uh, which is just kind of on our way to the uh, cornfields. Alright, we're calling in a decent fallow deer. Again, we're still not really even that close to the uh, to the place we have to be for the mission, but some of you guys were asking me to do some shotgun hunting, and I do have a shotgun on me. So we'll just try to take this fallow deer male with the shotgun when he gets a bit closer. As soon as he either stops or slows down, we'll try to take him. Looks like there's some females over there as well. Okay. This is just buckshot, so. Looks like we had a vital hit. Alright, and here he is. He looked like a decent scoring one. Not a monster, but 136 score. Whoa. I guess that's because of the buckshot? My goodness. Alright, so we're calling some fallow deer females into the cornfields right now. 
just to make sure they're plenty far enough into the region. I think where they are, right over there, is actually in uh, the cornfields. I don't remember the exact name of what these cornfields are. I want to try to bow the first one, so that way hopefully the others don't spook. And maybe we can just finish the mission right here. That's a bit further than I'd like to shoot. Give him another call. If nothing else, we'll just have to get them with a gun. But I'm hoping to just be able to do this fairly easily. Uh, not have to shoot a running one and hope that it's still in the region when we hit it. Alright, I hear movement again. Just waiting for a shot opportunity. That's the thing about hunting in the cornfields. Everything's kind of covering up uh, the animals. I'm not sure if it hides me as well. I think there is like a mechanic that you can hide behind vegetation. So, oh boy. Alright, we got a hit on that one. We're going to try to shoot that trotting one. Don't think we hit it, to be honest. But she should have still been in the region you if somehow one? we did catch Great. a lung Don't or a spine. Then on to another. On to another. Yep. All right, we've got one coming back. I just heard footsteps, so I've got my 7mm ready. There she is. And down she goes. I realize the, con the uh, cornfields, or at least the region for them, extend well beyond right here where we are. So didn't have to worry about letting her get right in the field that we were in. There you go. Another one. I'll let Zomer know. This should calm his nerves. Well, it seems someone is making new friends. I just had a chat with Robert Zomel, and he was very pleased with how you took care of the fallow deer in his cornfields. You know, Zomel is a real enthusiast of special equipment hunting. Bow hunting is one of his passions. As a thank you for your work, he wants to invite you to partake in his favorite pastime. He's challenging you to hunt a red fox using a bow. I think it's some kind of rite of passage. Well, since there's one here... 60 pound bow I think the uh, bear claw razorback is a 60 pound draw don't know if I can hit a fox with a bow but we'll try I think we might be able to hit this male if he stops I have an idea of where to aim at the range I think he's at I actually don't have the range finder which would be useful in this situation because we're shooting at a pretty small target he is just very slowly getting closer, and I don't even want to move and alert him at the moment. Just kind of let him decide where he wants to go. Maybe give him another call. Whoa. Okay, he kind of knows what's up. He'll probably start moving away. See if we can get eyes on him when we get up here. I think he's right there. Did we get him? <laughs> he's running like he's hit. We might have got him. Gotta take it slow though. If we didn't, that female's right up there, so just crouch our way over and see if we got blood. He acted hit, I thought. So that'd be cool if we did get him. Just launching an arrow where I could see his tail and then just moving right a little bit. I think if we hit him, it'll probably kill him. I can't say that for a fact because I've not shot a coyote or a red fox uh, with a bow yet. Not really seeing any blood. Oh, yes I am. We hit him. And actually, looks like just a flesh wound. We'll, uh... He is down, actually. Don't even need to track him. Nice. Actually got that mission done. Hit him right in the head. 
At least I think, yeah, that says 60, so. Oh, we had to do it. That sucks. <laughs> had to do it in uh, Spreeburg, not here. She didn't say that, did she? We got... We're getting... Hmm. It's almost like we got the rewards for the mission, except it doesn't say that it's complete, which I think might be what just happened. But we did level up and we got a perk point. All right, we've got a red fox here and we're actually in the right region. Let's see if we can hit him. Or her, I think, actually. That was a hit. Oop, didn't mean to lay back down. So this time, we actually should have completed the mission. Assuming we can find it. We have the same type of blood. Uh, and the last one didn't run far. Yep, this one's down right here. Very nice. So that should have actually it. completed Not it. Not bad. I'll let Zomel know he's found a fellow bow hunting enthusiast. Zomel was very impressed with your bow hunting skills, by the way. He wondered if you wanted to test run another new product. I guess you got his attention, and now he wants your input. There's a new okay. roe deer scent on the market that he wanted you to try out. Apparently, it's a perfect imitation of, well, deer urine. Care to try it out? When lure hunting like this, it always helps to find an elevated spot in a clearing or open field. A hunting stand hides you and your scent from an animal, so be sure to take advantage of them. Okay, two really good things just happened. We completed the mission, got a couple of different missions, looks like three of them, and we had a red deer mail call over here. So, if we can find them, We'll actually finally get a red deer on video, which I've been trying to do uh, for the last three episodes, counting this one. So hopefully we can at least accomplish that. All right, we've got red deer around us. I'm just trying to see if there is, in fact, a male with this group. I know we had a male call. I didn't have any tracks from him, but I had this group, so I assume he's around here. I uh, just got to actually get eyes on him. Hopefully, anyway. Can definitely hear more than one. That's the female there. Just take her with a bow if we can. Okay, that kind of spooked some others. Do I see any antlers running away? Not currently. I mean, I can only imagine that the uh, stag is somewhere with these. I suppose it's possible that he was traveling on his own. I need to find... Okay. This red deer went down here. She sh yeah, yeah, she's right there. I was going to say she shouldn't run far, but she didn't. We'll give it one more try on this herd of red deer to hopefully get a stag, but at least we finally killed one. So yeah, that was a lot of cash. 12.33 for just a red deer female. Uh, but anyway, hopefully there will be a stag. But if not, I'm pretty much out of time already. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can find a stag. Just hand this off. So I realized that red deer, uh, the stag is not with a group of females. Uh, and I tried. I came back to where I got his call and I can't find any of his tracks or anything. And unfortunately, I'm all out of time. What I think I'm going to try to do, because I cannot get a red deer stag in a video, I'm going to try to play this uh, later on uh, between now and editing. And I'm going to try to find a stag, just so you guys can see it if you haven't yet. I will find one, so I'm not ending this video yet. Technically, I'm done recording for now, but I'm not ending this video. Alright, so finally found a red deer. He's way out there. We're going to go ahead and walk up. Uh, to this point, we'll be able to get a nice prone shot with no obstructions. Don't really know about bullet drop in this game that much. He might have missed. I don't know. He reacted kind of strangely. Oh, no. We just, uh, I think we hit low. He looked as if he was 
uh, wounded or something, like limping around uh, for that half a second I got to see him and then he went down. So that may very well have been bullet drop. I know for sure that was my longest shot in this game so far, just by the fact that he was way out there and using the uh, 4 to 8 scope, it was still quite a difficult shot. So yeah, finally found a red deer and another decent one. Uh, I've still not killed a small one that was a uh, 5 medium difficulty, which is actually my lowest difficulty red deer I've even seen, uh, at least for males. But yeah, finally, uh, glad that I decided to uh, continue with this video. It's been, I don't know how many days since I recorded uh, the rest of this video, but finally got a red deer on video. I'm glad to get that off my chest. <laughs> but I'm guessing, is that a red deer? Must be a red deer feeding area because I don't recall. I think it did say he was eating when I spotted him. I, don't, I know I haven't been here uh, yet. So he should be somewhere just up here, yeah, right there. We'll pick him up. Looks like a decent one. So we got bronze, probably because we didn't hit him well. We did have a lung shot, but we went through the shoulder blade, and then also looks like we caught, I think, whatever that right humerus, that would be the top bone of the leg and that was probably why he was limping like that so that's actually really cool to see and we had a 268 meter shot so we've now harvested all the animals here in Hirschfelden so I want to know what you guys want me to do uh, for the last video in Hirschfelden and then uh, we'll see what we're gonna do we'll switch back and forth uh, or what but yeah finally got a red deer and a uh, decent one and a pretty cool mechanic seeing him limping uh, from a shot through the leg so with that Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give a like if you did, and I'll see you in the next one.